This video is a guide to basic configuration of the on-cell G3150 or G3110. The first step is to log on to your on-cell unit. In order to log on to the on-cell, you will need to configure your laptop to be on the same subnet as the on-cell you are configuring. To configure your laptop, go into the network properties of the network adapter you wish to use and double click on the Internet Protocol TCP IP selection. Enter the desired IP address that you would like to change your laptop to and also the net mask. The net mask is generally filled in automatically by Windows based on the IP address you enter. Once you have changed your IP address, open up your web browser and enter the OnCell's IP address and then hit enter. The default IP address of MOXA's OnCell units is 192.168.127.254. The first step to configuring the OnCell is to give it a name that is relevant to its location. To do so, from the menu on the left-hand side, select Basic Settings. Here you can enter whatever name you would like to assign to the unit. The next step is to set the on-cell's IP address. The IP address that you will set is that of the hardwired LAN port on the on-cell. To do so, from the menus on the left-hand side, select Network Configuration, then Basic Network Settings. You may now enter the desired IP address and net mask, and then click the Submit button. The next step is to configure the cellular network you are going to be connected to. In order to do so, you will need to know the APN, or access point name, of the network you are connecting to. Your cellular operator can provide this information for you. To set up the cellular network, select Network Settings, then GSM GPRS Settings. If you are doing IP-based transmission, select the GPRS radio button, then enter the proper APN of the network you are connecting to. When you are finished, hit the Submit button. If you are using the serial port on the on-cell to connect to a serial device, you may set that up at this time. From the menus on the left-hand side, select Serial Port Settings, then Port 1, then Operation Modes. If you are using Realcom, please select Device Control from the Application menu. Then select the mode you wish to use. In order to set the communication parameters, select Serial Port Settings, then Port 1, then Communication Parameters. This is where you can set the baud rate and any other serial port settings to match what is used on your end device. When you have finished, click the Submit button. When you have completed your configuration, select Save Configuration from the left-hand menus, then click the Save button. When the next screen comes up, simply click Restart to complete saving all of your changes into the on-cells memory. This concludes the video tutorial on how to complete a basic configuration of an on-cell G3150 or G3110.